Okay, um, yeah, you guys haven't seen my face in a, a while. Um, we don't count the Into the Wimpyverse video. That was a video, that, that intro and outro was made months, months prior to, to the actual editing and everything of the book. I just used the whole intro and outro. So, um, yeah, th this is me currently. I have no idea. This is probably not even going to be the current version of me. Um, I'm more than likely to look, look a whole lot different or, or the same with whichever one. Um, yeah, so um, I, I, I don't know what intro I'm using this video for. I'm either using this for Dari Yang Ropa or I'm probably using this for Daria, well, um, Daria of a Hero Academia. Because I'm currently working on both right now, and I don't know which one I'm going to use the intro on. So, um, whichever one this ends up on, it ends up on, I guess. Um, but yeah, you guys are going to be watching wh whichever one. I still don't know which one this is going to end up on. Okay, but seriously, hope you guys enjoy uh, today's video. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of all I have to say for this um I intro, huh? <laughs> I I I'll make the outro when I decided which book we're working on. Friday. A few days before the attack, I walked into the main room of Corny's to see this. Mechley Mingo was crushing a car with his quirk. I knew he could move metal stuff around, but I didn't realize he could change its shape. That's when Manny walked up to me. Greg, have you ever heard of quirk fusion? I told him no, and he started to explain. Apparently when Manny gives somebody a quirk who already has one, the two quirks can react in unexpected ways. Just like how the Grout and Archie Kelly's quirk combined to let him freely control his branches, Manny gave Meckley a quirk he had stolen from somebody who could heat up things with their hands. Now not only could Meckley move metal around, he could also heat up and change his shape. Manny must have stolen a lot of quirks because apparently he had already done this to most of the Mingos. One guy had a quirk that made him more powerful the longer he slept, but his new quirk let him put other people to sleep. Monday. Well, today's the day. Everyone in the Quirk Reformation Society, plus the Mingos, gathered in the main room of Corny's, where Manny had made a portal that was almost as big as the room. Good luck, everyone! With that, we jumped in. As I got my bearings, I looked around. We were in front of a huge lodge, surrounded by a forest of white. I could see some smaller cabins further out. This was definitely the place. Manny had briefed us on the plan beforehand. We would be arriving a little before the Hero Course kids, so we could intercept their bus as it arrived. That way, everyone would be trapped in one place, and there wouldn't be a chance of anyone escaping. Sure enough, it looked like no one was here. But a sound broke the silence. It sounded like several people running. We all looked around, trying to figure out if it was one of us, until we saw them. The rocking hero team loaded diaper! Mingo Kid. While this kid is not related to the Mingo family, his strength and loyalty let him rise through the ranks to Mechley's second in command. Meckley is a man of few words, so this guy tends to do the talking for him. Quirk, hibernation. He can sleep for up to several days uninterrupted. The longer he sleeps, the more his strength increases when he wakes up, up to about three times the strength of a regular person. The effect wears off a few hours after waking up. New Quirk, sleep paralysis. After getting the quirk of a pro hero who could freeze others by singing, he can now put people near him to sleep. However, if he's not close by the effect where he'll wear off. The heroes who ran the camp! Of course they wouldn't be on the bus with the UA teachers. They were a relatively well-known hero team. Roderick is a big fan of them, so I recognize one or two of the members. The heroes must have recognized us too, because they descended on us right away. From there, it was a free-for-all. 
Mechley was fighting one of the heroes by using his quirk to turn a nearby car into a giant hammer. Another was fighting a bunch of the Mingos, although it looked like he wasn't doing too well. And the other one charged straight at me. But this time, I was prepared, because I had drawn my most powerful weapon yet. I had drawn one of the guns the police officers used. If I wasn't a villain before, I guess there's no going back now. I didn't want to kill this guy or anything, so I aimed for his leg and hesitantly pulled the trigger. But as the bullet got near him, it suddenly stopped. That's when I remembered who this guy was. He was Ward, one of the members of Loaded Diaper, and his quirk was that he could create force fields. Okay, maybe a gun wasn't such a great idea. He kept charging, and from the way the air shimmered in front of him, I could tell his force field was active. That wasn't good, but as Ward got closer, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I've got this guy. Go find Manny. The Hero Course kids are here. I headed over to where Manny and the other villains were waiting. The snow was starting to stop, and in the distance I could see something approaching. As it got closer, I realized it was a school bus. There was another one behind it, but the driver must have seen us because the buses suddenly stopped. Overload. Real name Bill Walter, Overload's quirk gives him a unique fighting style that involves playing music and fighting simultaneously. His guitar has a built-in amplifier, and it's reinforced so it can also be used as a weapon. Bill formed the popular hero team Loaded Diaper, with two of his friends, who he used to play in a band on the same name with. Quirk, Power of Rock. Listening to music greatly enhances his physical strength and speed. The intensity and volume of the music affects the boost he gets. The doors of the bus in front open and two figures stepped out. Turn the bus around. The buses sped away and Steve and Andrew charged at us, but Manny just grinned. They're not getting away that easily. He raised one hand and stared at the buses, concentrating hard. I didn't know what was happening, but suddenly I saw this. Manny was sending the buses through one of his portals. What's more, he was dumping them way up in the sky, with the Hero Course kid still on board. We all stared in awe as two black shapes fell from the sky. Manny had dropped the two buses each full of Hero Course kids from a portal in the sky. I didn't even know he could do that. You little shit. Strong Steve! Ultimate muscle form! You won't get away with this, villain. I half expected him to sucker punch Manny right then and there, but he just bent his knees and leapt into the sky with a cloud of dust. Baseline. Chris Merkel, who goes by the hero named Baseline, is a member of the hero team Loaded Diaper. He prefers to hang back and provide support during battle while Ward and Bill are on the front lines, which matches his introverted personality. When he was a part of the band Loaded Diaper in high school, he played bass. Quirk, Tremor. By stomping his foot, Chris can create a fizzer in the ground that will extend outwards in the direction his foot is pointing. There's no limit to how often he can use his power, so he can stomp his feet repeatedly to send earthquakes out in multiple directions. Strong Steve kept rising into the sky until... Strong Steve caught the buses! As he started falling again, he carried the buses down with him. As Steve and Ward lowered the buses, the Hero Course kid spilled out. This was it. The battle everything had been building up to. Immediately, Strong Steve lunged at Manny, but Manny still had a bunch of quirks up his sleeve. For a second, we thought Strong Steve had killed Manny, but then he turned around. Nice try, but you're going to have to do better than that. Strong Steve got back up and faced Manny and his clones, but this time, Manny was the one who ran at Steve. Strong Steve was taking out Manny clones left and right, but eventually one reached him. We didn't realize why until something started to happen to Steve. 
It took us a second to realize what was happening. Manny had stolen Strong Steve's quirk. That meant... Manny now had Strong Steve's quirk. That meant he was huge. Meanwhile, on the other side of the battlefield, Jake was fighting a battle of his own. It seemed like they were pretty evenly matched. Jake's quirk was probably stronger, but Holly was a lot more experienced with hers. But even still, Jake had the upper hand. So I can, uh, you, you can guess that um, basically by the title of the video and based on what I said in the intro, you can guess what this video, well, this outro is for. I finally figured out what, what I was editing. It, it was Diary of a Hero Academia. All right, seriously, as short as this video was, um, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to be putting out some longer videos. Not sure when, but I will be. So far, I'm also working on Diary Gang Ropa, which is basically Dang Gang Ropa, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, hopefully, y'all will enjoy that, which I know y'all will. It's chapter one, so um, this is going to be a long one because there are a bunch of pages. So I will put that out. I don't know when, but I will. So uh, stay tuned for that. Also, um, did I tell you guys I have a new Twitter? I, I didn't specify that, but yeah, I got a new Twitter. And I'm still working on the Discord server, and when I'm done, I'll let y'all know. Um, more videos to come. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, also, if you can see on the latest community post, I put up five years later. And uh, yeah, it will come out in 2027. Um, crazy, I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing in the five years later, but we move. Um... One of the things I said I want to accomplish is 1 million subscribers on this channel within the next 5 years. Because it's 5 years later, duh. Um, I, I apologize for talking so fast. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that, but let me slow down. I really created that video and it's set to release um, 2027. So let's see what happens then. I don't know if I'm still going to be here or I'm going to make something big of myself. I don't know, but I am hoping that I will still be here creating videos, and that I will have made a name for myself. And that is all I have to say for this outro. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.